Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I have behind me a couple of Yamaha FX Cruisers, and um, we're going to be detailing these things up today. I'm going to give you a quick walk around. Uh, my wife, Tony is going to do a lot of the prep work while I'm working on polishing uh, the skis. They've got a little bit of gasoline damage, random scuffs and scratches. Uh, this gentleman hasn't decided whether he's going to sell them or not, but we're going to let him figure that out after we get them all clean. But this is some of the damage that we were, I was just talking about. Get all the haziness there. I'm hoping all that's in just the top of the gel coat. You can, you can see how just generally hazy it is. See if we can't uh, polish the top layer of that off and uh, get the shine back. You can see, see it's raining today, but fortunately, uh, this gentleman has this nice garage we can work in. So, so the haze and the scratches. This one has some gasoline damage, which again, I'm gonna try to polish that off and uh, go from there. You can see all the, the haziness. All in all, they're in good shape. It just the finish is uh, the big problem here. So. He's going to replace all the mats and that kind of thing. All right, well, that's the uh, overview of what they look like right now. I'm going to be filming segments like normal, so you'll be able to see... I'll have uh, Tony hold the camera when I do a, uh, we call it a 50-50. I'll put tape here, masking tape. I'll polish one side and you'll see the results. And then we'll pull the tape and you can compare the two. So that's what we're going to do first uh, because I've got several polishes in my line and I want to test to see what's going to give us the best end result. And that's what you got to do. Not everything works every time. That's why I give you lots of options with my products at DetailJuice.com because different situations and scenarios require different efforts to be applied. Uh, so, without further ado or more babbling right now, I'm going to go ahead and get set up to get started. All right, guys, so we're back. I've done just a little bit of polishing. I ended up using Universal All-in-One, which you can see I've <laughs> squirted a little extra out. So that wasn't doing what I needed it to do. So I had to upgrade to the, uh, the Infinite Cut. <laughs> so I put a piece of tape right here, and I polished this side. And you can see, you can see the tape line right here. But you can also see that we got some shine back, but it's still that gasoline has penetrated that gel coat pretty bad. So you can see that it looks better over here. It's just not perfect, but perfection is not reality. I've been preaching that for years, but look, check this out. So that spot looks better, but check this out. I'm going to show you this is all hazy, but check that out. I polished this side of this hood. And you can really see that tape line, how hazy and nasty the oxidation is over there. So I polished all of this, this section. I did not get that corner because the polisher won't go in there. So I'm going to have to use my hand for that. But that's why that's got that crap on it because I didn't polish there. But I just want to show you guys what's happened. See all that gloss? Looks great compared to that. So I am using the... Harbor Freight Dual Action Polisher, as usual. Um, three and a half inch Buff and Shine backing plate and a four inch Buff and Shine orange pad with infinite cut. This is the uh, VOC free and water based version. Very safe to use and it cuts like a dream. And look at that gloss, just saying. So I'm going to keep, keep on keeping on getting this thing looking good and we'll be back in just a bit. Just keep in mind what all this looks like. I'm going to try to cut most of that off, but man, it looks bad. That looks great though. All right, back to work. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, so this one I have not polished. I had, uh, so Tony cleaned it all up. She's hand polished in these areas because I don't want to put the machine down there. Plus it's not going to fit. And that's just some uh, gel coat issues. But uh, I want to show you just how hazy it is. You see the lack of shine and the just general haze over the whole thing. Uh, this one didn't have the gas damage right here like the other one did, but I just want to show you this one and all the haze and then this one. Look how amazing it is. Remember where all that gas stain was? You still got a little bit of issues in the gel coat from it, but most of it is gone and it's all glossy now. Do you remember what this looked like? So this whole thing now is amazingly glossy, looks great. Uh, now these, these two jobs, these two skis, um, I'm just fixing the gel coat that I can fix. So it's basically, they're just getting polished uh, with some Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 sprayed on them at the end. We did use some universal dressing on uh, some of the plastic and that kind of thing. But she's just finishing up that one now and I'm gonna start jumping on this one with the polishing. Uh, and in order for us to not have to stop so we can get this done and roll on our kidless weekend, I am going to just finish it up and then I'll bring you back at the very end. But you can see the difference. Uh, that ski that we did already was definitely worse than this one, but you see how bad this one is. Let's just get you another angle to look at. See how the, that thing lacks gloss? and how this thing does not. Um, I polished the mirrors and stuff, even underneath them. But you can see how glossy and nice it looks. Versus that one. All right, time to get to work. All right, boys and girls, 2013 Yamaha Wave Runners. They are FX cruisers, high output with the 1.8 liter in them. We uh, polished all of the gel coat. We treated all the trim. We used uh, my universal dressing from my one system for the trim. Uh, I didn't bring any of the Marine Series plastic and rubber hydrate, which is what I generally would use. But the universal dressing is uh, just a very slight step down from the uh, plastic and rubber hydrate. Uh, if you would even consider it a step down, it works very well. Anyway, so this one you already saw done. This one here I just finished. Noticed the gloss that it did not have before. <laughs> they look great now. I'm very happy with how they turned out. Most of the fuel spill, it had just a little bit of it down there and it's all pretty much gone. Still gotta put the uh, seats back on this one, no big deal but everything is clean. Those gouges are really bad and it's missing paint. So obviously those aren't gonna come out with polish, but that's it. 2013 Wave Runners, polished, protected with Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, just a quick wipe down, nothing fancy. That's it. If you guys got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. If you need something detailed, that same number is the Gary Dean hotline. And uh, if you want to learn more about my products and my processes and whatever we've got going on, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So... Let me know if you need me, guys, and check out DetailJuice.com for all my products. Thanks again for watching and uh, listening to me babble. Have a great day.